Mining has become such a pop. So I think it's time for me to try. But is it profitable to mine at home now? I decided to make an experiment. The idea is to mine a cryptocurrency and count the money spent on electricity at the same time. Then I'll compare the results. This is the mining farm that I have. Not very powerful, but still, it has three GeForce GTX 1060 graphic cards inside. How to measure the amount of money that it consumes? I'm gonna make an energy cost electrical meter device, or ESIM. I can calculate electrical power from current, consumption from power, and money cost knowing the consumption price. I need an AC current sensor, an Arduino controller, AC to DC 5 volt converter, and a small LCD display. My device will have its own power plug and socket, so I buy some universal connectors in the hardware store. Disassembling a few sockets, I found that their inside parts can be easily removed. They have almost the same mechanical dimensions and I can use them. Dealing with the components, I take the case of the eSum appearance. I decided to print the case parts on a 3D printer. When I rendered all the parts, I got a cool eSum appearance. That's what I got. The main body part, the back cover, the case for the socket, the case for the plug. Let's assemble the body. I assemble the socket and put it into the case. Then I attach the socket case to the body. Time to place the electronics. The current sensor. And the display. The back cover is next. I fix the case with the back cover. Prepare the plug and put it inside the case. I fasten Arduino and the voltage converter. Time to solder all this matter. It's important to do everything carefully and don't forget about the isolation. High voltage is not a joke. After soldering, I attach the cover to the body and fasten it. The eSEM device is ready. Now let's program it. To program Arduino, I use the Exod Visual Programming Environment. The first node to place is for my current sensor. I connected the signal wire of the sensor to the AO Arduino pin. Now I calculate the electric power using Multiply node. Power is the product of the current to voltage multiplication. The Integrate DT node to accumulate the power over time. Next, the to money mode. It converts the accumulated consumption into the money cost using one kilowatt per hour price, which is about eight cents for me. I put the LCD node for my eight x two display. The money value will be on the second line. I set port values, which correspond to the Arduino pins. On the first line of the display, I write the total string. The patch is ready and I upload it to the device. Let's test it. I set up the farm and power it through the eSIM device. The farm connects to the internet. It's controlled distantly. I'm going to mine the Ethereum currency. Let the experiment begin. 
Farm is mining, Isim is counting. Let's leave them for a night. Okay, I'm back. It took 21 hours since start. Look at the Isim device. I spent one and a half dollars on electricity. Let's see the farm's income. 44 cents? I lose a dollar. The results suggest that the mining at home is not profitable. But why? It's about the price of electric energy and the current currency rate. The Ethereum currency price is now low. But if I mined on May, I would earn $2.55. And if I mined on January, I would earn $4.30. That's it. Draw your own conclusions. See you soon.